Iran displayed two new air defense systems on Saturday. According to state media, as tensions in the Middle East remain high due to the conflict in Gaza. Welcome everyone, in today's video, we're going to tell you Iran's new air defense system shocks Israel and US. The Armin anti-ballistic missile system and the Azarex low altitude air defense system, built by the Ministry of Defense, were unveiled this morning, according to the state-run IRNA news agency. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, Remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe, so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. The introduction of the new weapons coincides with heightened regional tensions, as Israel's battle with Tehran-backed Hamas enters its fifth month. Even before the war, Israel and Iran were bitter rivals, with Israel strongly opposed to Tehran's nuclear program. In 2023, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called on Iran to confront a credible military threat in order to prevent the country from acquiring nuclear weapons. Tehran has consistently stated that its nuclear program is benign and that it has no intention of developing a nuclear weapon. The Armin missile system, which was unveiled on Saturday, has a medium range and a high altitude that can identify targets at 180 kilometers and engage and destroy them at 120 kilometers. Defense Minister Mohammad Riza Ashtiani stated during the ceremony, according to IRNA. According to the agency, the system can attack six targets simultaneously, whereas the Azarich defense system can be deployed on a variety of vehicle types and uses radar, electro-optical systems, and thermal seekers to detect and track its target. Iran praised Hamas's surprise. October 7 strike but denied any involvement, while Tehran-backed militant organizations in Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, and Yemen have increasingly targeted U.S. and anti-jihadi coalition troops stationed in Iraq and Syria. On January 28, an attack on a Jordanian facility killed three U.S. military personnel, prompting Washington to unleash its own strikes against pro-Iran sites in Syria and Iraq. In reaction to the group's ongoing attacks on commercial vessels, the United States and Britain conducted repeated strikes against Yemen's Iran-backed Houthis. The Houthis claim their attacks in the Red Sea are in solidarity with Palestinians in war-torn Gaza. Iran's air defense system hit. New satellite image shows. Iran International's analysis of satellite photos supports media allegations that an Israeli attack on Friday targeted a critical element of an air defense system at an Iranian air base near Isfahan. The midnight attack has sparked tremendous conjecture and debate driven in part by Israel's traditional quiet in such cases. Unnamed U.S. officials have confirmed that Israeli fighter jets fired missiles across Iraqi airspace, which hit their intended target. Iranian officials have contradicted this, claiming that the explosions heard in Isfahan early Friday local time were caused by Iran's defense systems, striking three quadcopters. Iranian Foreign Minister Hassan Amir Abdullahian told NBC News that the drones took off from within Iran and flew for a few hundred meters before coming down. They're more like toys that our children play with, not drones, Amir Abdullahian added. The images of the Iranian S-300 air defense system indicate substantial damage to the fire control radar, but the missile launchers appear to be intact. According to Nadimi, the damage could have been caused by the impact of a precision-guided projectile akin to the Sparrow Rocks family of standoff air-to-ground missiles that Israel is thought to have employed in its most recent strike. The New York Times previously delivered a similar assessment. The article analyzed satellite photos and determined that the precision attack at the 8th Shikari Air Base damaged or destroyed the flap lid radar which is used in S-300 air defense systems to track incoming targets. Chris Biggers, a former U.S. government imagery analyst, also indicated this when he posted an image on X only hours after explosions were detected in Isfahan. Imagery acquired 648's 19 Napper 2024 showed evidence of damage to the Iranian S-300P Mu-2 strategic surface-to-air missile battery. In Isfahan, Biggers stated in a blog post, other battery system components have been removed from the site. Their state and location are still unknown. 
It may be impossible to determine what occurred in Isfahan early Friday local time without comprehensive disclosures from Iran and Israel. However, there is emerging evidence and expert opinion that Iran's S-300 air defense system was targeted and hit. The S-300 is a Russian long-range surface-to-air missile defense system capable of tracking targets 300 kilometers away, including ballistic missiles. It consists of four components, a surveillance radar, tracks, command vehicle identifies target and orders launch, engagement radar guides missiles, and six launch vehicles that surround the engagement radar and fire two missiles each. As a result, the system may simultaneously target up to six targets with 12 missiles. Russia finalized the supply of 300 to Iran in October 2016, following years of negotiations and multiple postponements, primarily due to pressure from Western countries and Israel, which has long argued that the Islamic Republic of Iran poses a existential threat to Israel. Tensions between Iran and Israel have risen in recent weeks following a suspected Israeli bombing on April 1 that destroyed a building in Iran's embassy compound in Damascus and killed several Iranian personnel. On April 13, Tehran replied by firing hundreds of missiles and drones at Israel, marking the Islamic Republic's first direct attack on Israel, albeit no reported casualties. How well could Iran defend itself against a potential Israeli attack? Iran operates a wide spectrum of missile defense batteries aimed at defending against aerial strikes. Tehran, Iran Israel, has threatened to exact a price from Iran in reaction to missile and drone attacks launched in retribution for the deadly bombing of its consulate in Syria earlier this month. Israel's War Council has convened many times to discuss a course of action to supplement a diplomatic effort against Iran following Saturday's unprecedented direct attacks on Israel with Israeli Army Chief of Staff Herzi Halevi stating that a military reaction is unavoidable. On Wednesday, Iranian President Hassan Rezi promised a massive and harsh response if Israel launched a direct military strike on Iranian soil. So how well can Iran defend itself if such an attack occurs? Relying on local defensive weapons Iran has long relied on relying on its own economic skills, but a similar trend can be seen in its military sector. Much of that sentiment stems from Iran's eight-year war with neighboring Iraq, which invaded Iran in 1980 under former leader Saddam Hussein. Baghdad was militarily supported by numerous foreign nations, notably the United States. Iran's air superiority is still being challenged by decades of sanctions and embargoes, with some of its fighter jets and equipment, including US-made F-4 and F-5 fighter jets, dating back to before the country's 1979 revolution which deposed the West-backed monarchy of Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi. Iran presently predominantly flies Russian Sukhoi and MiG fighter jets from the Soviet era. The Iranian Air Force has also been developing its own jets, such as the Sais and Kosar, which are based on U.S. designs, although they are not thought to be competitive with some of the best fighter jets, such as the F-35s, which Israel utilizes in considerable numbers. The arrival of two dozen Russian-made Su-35 fighter jets, for which negotiations have been continuing for some time, may considerably revitalize the Iranian Air Force, but it would not eliminate the need for strong air defense batteries. Iran has attempted to compensate for its outdated homegrown fighter jets by ambitious missile programs. It has concentrated on strengthening its air defense systems, as well as burying parts of its air bases, missile depots, and nuclear installations deep in the mountains to shield them from bunker buster missiles provided by the United States to Israel. Throughout its six-month war on Gaza, Israel has made considerable use of U.S.-supplied bunker buster bombs. Iran's longest-range missile defense system is the locally manufactured Bavar-373, which went into service in 2019 following a decade of research and testing and has since been greatly enhanced. In November 2022, Iranian officials demonstrated an updated Bavar-373, claiming that its radar detection range had been increased from 350 km to 450 km and that it was now equipped with modern Seyo GRB surface-to-air missile systems. It can supposedly lock on targets at up to 400 km, track 60 targets, engage 6 targets at once, and hit them from a range of up to 300 km. 
According to Iranian official media, the system outperforms the Russian-made C-300 system in some ways and is even similar to the more advanced S-400 batteries, which are among the world's most advanced. The Bavar 373 has not seen combat outside of Iranian military drills, but experts believe it is part of one of the world's most dense air defense networks. In addition to Russia's TOR missile defense systems, Iran has S-300 systems. Tehran obtained the latter following the execution of the now-defunct nuclear agreement with foreign powers in 2016. The S-300 systems, which the Soviet Union first deployed in the late 1970s, are designed to shoot down aircraft, drones, and incoming crews and ballistic missiles at ranges of up to 150 kilometers, whereas the TOR is a low-to-medium altitude system capable of engaging threats at ranges of up to 16 kilometers. Layers of Missile Defense Systems Iran operates a number of different locally produced missile defense batteries that employ a variety of missiles to form layers of defense behind the longest-range weapons. Multiple medium-range defense systems, such as Armin, Tactical Sayyad, and Corded 15, can defend Iranian skies against targets at heights of up to 200 kilometers. Arman, which was announced in November 2022, is installed on the back of military trucks and can be deployed within minutes. It is available in two versions, using active or passive electronically scanned array radars that are accurate and difficult to jam, and is designed to defeat tactical ballistic missiles used on the battlefield within 300 kilometers. The Armin system is outfitted with missiles capable of repelling precision-guided, bunker-buster explosives designed to destroy hardened or underground facilities. Azarekshech, which was introduced with Armin, is a small system built for low-altitude engagements against threats such as drones and quadcopters. It can detect objects from a distance of 50 kilometers with an optical tracker chasing them up to 25 kilometers. Multiple Iranian missile defense systems may be fired vertically, allowing for greater flexibility in space and can therefore be deployed by warships. Iran intends to unveil additional missile defense systems this year, a senior military official stated in late March. That's all for today's video. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps and Iranian Army also have a large number of ballistic and cruise missiles with ranges of up to 2,000 kilometers, as well as a variety of reconnaissance and attack drones, some of which were utilized in Iran's strike on Israel on Saturday. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.